Our country and our state are being run by a geriatric oligarchy. Ooh, let's get right into it. Our group is called Too Old to Party. Now, we will work on the social issue that is old people in the government. Uh, we're excited to tackle this uh, social political issue as we try our best to not sound sarcastic. <laughs> but we will, because right now it's affecting everyone in America as the elderly who can't read and write at this age yet. Dementia is a real thing. Seem to be taking over the world. Now, I joined this cause because I actually served in the military where I remember older people in the time of war saying to me as they looked in the eyes, You're my only hope. Oh, let that sink in for a minute. 18 going to war. I remember, though, everyone in the government was saying that... They got him! But as you know, there's an age limit for serving, but not in the government. Too old to go to war, but not too old to take the money and give yourself a raise. Our goal for the future is one free of a status quo and the hegemonic of overlords that control it. Now, thankfully, our group is uh, appealing to the masses, unless you were above a certain age, but at that point you probably don't have internet, and I am not talking to you. That works out nicely, as you can tell. Ugh, take it in, old man. The young ones are coming and they're excited. Ooh, let's jump right in and we've got a gram cheese that the Italian Marxist thought on her chimney. Who thought common sense, just the way things are, just the way things have always been, meaning the individuals, except the ruling party's hegemonic views, because that's the way it's always been until we ourselves become the hegemonic overlords that must be overthrown, because one day we will be too old and not want to give up power. Time to fight, boys. Time to fight. Now, these hamster little hamsters are gonna attack and die, but non violently, of course, because I've got it. Lou approaches, he says, open your book to the French Revolution. It is said that history is written by the winners. Which is absolutely true, unless you're an idiot. Enter King Louis, who brought together his people, making it easy to uprise, which is what we plan on doing by challenging the older people. We intend to uh, smash them on social media. Our tennis court oath will be on TikTok. That's appropriate for our age. And as we do such, as we uh, enlist the masses and gather a following, we will uprise just like the French. But instead of taking over Bastille in a French prison, we will take over Congress and every other boring place old people love. Looking at you, Denny's. Looking right at you, Denny's. Now, in case you're getting bored, we are about to turn to strategy. Hey, Ted Cruz, you might want to pay attention. This next part is about you. Now, we are supposed to be non-violent, so our first strategy will obviously be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. We wouldn't do that. We might, but we won't because we were told not to. We'll be utilizing a culture of non-violence while we're at it. Why don't we bring that right back? Whoop, it's as if it didn't happen. <laughs> you didn't see anything because you did. <laughs> our real strategy is simple. We have it all planned out, mapped out, thought out, and are going to approach it the simplest way possible. Get it? 44. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, they are old and we could technically just wait for them to die because time is not on their side. I have a heart attack, you idiot. Up you go. I'm just kidding. Now let's move on to tactics where I will be very serious for the entirety of this whole time. Stupid Yes, you heard that right. Psychological warfare is actually what we'll be doing because, as Helby said, psychological operations is the centerpiece of a well-planned, strategic, non-violent struggle. And what do old people love? 
Psychological warfare. We are going to send them pamphlets of old folks' homes in the mail. Which is a type of currency at a certain age. We are going to send it to their loved ones, their families, their friends. We are going to put it everywhere they look until they lose their effing minds. Why? Because that is psychological. On top of that, we're going to do the other thing old people do and hate, which is show them things they are bad at. Yes, we are going to spam them with young people being athletic. Don't worry, we won't be unfair. We will make sure that nothing we show includes an old person. Why? Because they would die. And at a certain age, you have to accept the fact that your body is nothing but sand and is not meant to climb mountains or go skiing or generally be outside. However, keeping with the theme of fairness and openness, we will also be showing old people doing things they excel at, such as... Two. Three. Ooh, almost had you. Now our next step will be very simple. People clean offices, old people have offices in government. The easiest way to annoy them is to save people being happy. Nothing pisses off the elderly like underpaid interns celebrating. Now, on top of singing and dancing and generally being a delight, there is nothing old people love more than off-tune singing. Like a black widow, baby! Boom. So I know what you're thinking. Oh, Trey, what if they just don't listen and shut their doors? Well, we have a coup de gras and Maya, Maya, Maya coming up for you. If you really want to make sure the old people hear the music they hate the most and you want to... Sing it to their kids and teach those kids K-pop. Yes, you heard that correctly. Get K-pop in their lives, get it in their cars, get it in their ears, and then get it in their fucking heads. It's her! Hold on! Oh, boom, as Emily might call it, that's the beginning of a transformative movement. Checkmate, mother ever. Oh, yum, yum, we're getting dumb. Now, at this point in the campaign, the elderly should be so damaged they can't even recognize their own children. In fact... I thought you were a dog. <laughs> you find that as non-violence, Gelderloo. But be careful, with old people there is a breaking point, and if you push too far and we take it too long, we know that they will respond in the way the government has always responded, with uprising. And that is simply say... If you do anything to us, I'll break it. Oh, now as Lee is quick to point out, all revolution, Sarah. Common definition, that is some type of change or transformation of a society. Then <laughs> I'd call that a change, wouldn't you? Go fuck yourself. On to the next part, which is branding. For our movement, we will be going the uh, 2 o to party band, which will not be hard to enforce because all you have to do is keep them up past nine and they'll get tuckered out. How are they going to prove it? Oh, thanks again, Ted Cruz. Sleep at work proving my point. Another simple way of doing it is to listen. Campaign. Actually, it's a synecdoche. Technically, it's more of a goat rape than a cluster. They're all perfect models for the government. Now, if it's a model for our campaign, it would probably be something along the lines of, <laughs> we are better than you. Simple, yet effective. What a great motto, Trey. Lots of thought put into that, obviously. If I ever needed a miracle, it's right now. Uh, Ma'am. There's been a mass shooting in a mall in Phoenix. 27 people have been killed. Oh. This can work for us? Yes. See, the government does not set the bar very high. Yes, if they can use that as an excuse, then we can use anything we want. Mostly because they do not understand Twitter. And that will be our greatest ally. We have to send that shooter a nice thank you card. Well, actually, he shot himself before he could be apprehended. I'll okay. send something to his wife. It's... Oh, actually, he shot her first. I am living. Go get her, Mary. Next brings us to humor. If you haven't laughed at this point, well, shit. 
<laughs> Yikes. Now, just as our buddy Daniel Defoe did in 1702, we will be making a pamphlet on how to eat the elderly. Comically, of course, we will warn all the children though, of their high sodium value, letting them know how dangerous it is to sprinkle seasonings on top of a salty brine of an old jerky person. However, if anyone takes this seriously, we'd like to say ahead of time, that's on you. Ooh, Lee might call that visual discontent. <laughs> Now, in case anyone tells you it's time to get violent, I want you to look them directly in the eyes and say... I'm telling you, man, I can't do that. Now, for our next trick, we will be doing what Yes Man calls a hoax, which is where we will be spreading the idea that catnip summons the devil. Oh, kitty, kitty, here you come. Now, some of you might be asking yourself, what is funny about a demon cat? And the answer, everything. The answer is everything is funny about a demon cat. Because the elderly will be too old when your armor is made of old leather. And by that I mean sacks of paper lunch. Chances are you can't fight a cat anyway. Which means if someone's going down, it's not Mr. Oh Kitty. It's gonna lead to Rogers. Mm. He looks like shit. I set him on fire. Huh? Establishing Martin Luther King Jr. Day as a federal holiday. Now, when it comes to setting up a dilemma and making the old people look bad, the easiest way to do it is just to let them talk. That's right, just ask them a question and listen, it's not that hard. Pretty much everything an elderly person says is awful. At this day and age, if it's not racist, they're not trying. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, I don't want to sound like a creep, but uh, you want to get in the car with me and my friend? Oof, and that's not even the worst thing a politician has ever said. On top of that, to make it even simpler, we will basically make sure every one of their thoughts is public. Yes, however they vote, however they think, we will challenge them to 24-hour tweet-off. And you might say, well, they just maybe will hold back and not say anything. That's fine, because the topic will be women's rights. <laughs> Thank you. Now, in case that softball's not enough for you, we will follow that up with a simple question of Define racial profiling until its benefits. Oh, uh, now for Dilemma 2 to get real, real deep and spicy, we will hold a public debate among the best debaters, the master debaters, if you will, and we will go, hey, we're going to show you 25 individuals from Portland, Oregon, ranging in size, body, and gender, and we want you to tell us their pronouns. I don't think she's of this world. Ooh, nice try, but Martha prefers them. Okay, she's not human. That's what I said, I mean, man. She's something else. I don't That's know what. I told you, dude. Oof, guys, you get one more chance. This is getting embarrassing. Make this one count. What are you? Oof, I'm sorry, but the correct answer is, I don't know, I haven't asked them. Go fuck yourself. Oof. Our point at this, at the conclusion, is to say, oh my. Wrapping it up, we will use uh, technology to defeat the elderly who are screwing up the government royally because they are staying in past 65. We will do this by spamming the hell out of them with robot Twitter accounts and sending them all to Florida where they belong. False news? <laughs> Not if we can tag Fox News in it. Ooh, CNN, we're coming for you too. Everyone get on board as we attack the hegemonic overlords and do our best to raise equality and bring everyone together. As we bring everyone together, they show up to vote and non-violently overthrow the government. That's right, old man. You are out. <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been Group 4. We are very sleepy.
for coming out.